let's talk about maintenance dosing when you're on a GLP-1. I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but I'm also a GLP-1 advocate. So I spend a lot of time getting people access to GLP-1s that need them, that can't get them through traditional insurance. So if you need more information about that, there is a link over here in my bio that can hopefully help you. So hopefully if you're on a GLP-1 and it's working well for you, you will get to a point in which you are happy with your weight and you don't really wanna lose a lot of more weight, but you kinda just wanna maintain the weight that you've lost. We call that the maintenance phase. Now the length of time that that takes you to get to the maintenance phase is very different for everybody. I have some patients who are really good responders and they get to the maintenance phase rather quickly. And then I have people who it takes them a long time. A lot of it has to do with how much weight you had to lose at the beginning. So at that point, I like to talk to people about going to what I call a maintenance dose on their GLP-1. And I want you to understand that that's gonna look very different for each patient. And so you need to work with your provider to see what that might look like for you. So this is not medical advice or suggestions, but I'm just gonna tell you what different maintenance doses might look like for certain patients. So let's say somebody was on terzepatide and they were started out on two and a half milligrams, they went up to five milligrams and then went up, went up one more time to seven and a half milligrams. And they did really well, had no side effects, and they lost most of their weight on seven and a half milligrams. So at that point that they get to the point where they're wanting to maintenance dose, their maintenance dose could look kind of one or two ways. One, we could either try to titrate them back down and reduce their dose, or we could try to stretch out their doses. And instead of doing one shot a week, we could try to do one shot every 10 days or one shot every two weeks, but keep it the same dose. Signs that we have to look out for are if people are starting to regain their weight or if their hunger cues were really starting to come back, then we may need to readjust our plan. So this plan is always very fluid and we need to maybe adjust it sometimes. So for me personally, I think if you stretch the doses beyond about 10 days, people tend to struggle. It has a lot to do with the length of time that the GLP-1 drugs stay in the system. And so you can do dosing every two weeks and some people do great with that. But I think if you stretch it much beyond that, people just don't really do well. And at the end of the dose, they really start to, their hunger cues really come back. So if you're on maintenance dosing, let me know uh, what you're doing because I want to know what your schedule looks like. And just remember that everybody's schedule is going to look different and what works for you may not work for someone else.